Hello and welcome to the Advanced Photographic Solutions at ROSE version 8 tutorial. Um, immediately when you open the program you'll notice that there are many similarities between the old ROSE and the new ROSE. Uh, what I want to do is take you guys through a uh, simple uh, order placement uh, here on the new ROSE version 8. One of the immediate differences you might notice is at the uh, top right portion of your program you'll notice that there are tabs that take you through the uh, order selection and purchasing process. Um, we'll get more into the details of those in just a moment, but uh, initially I want to uh, bring you to our new home screen. From this point, when you first click on the home screen, you will notice that you have your preference um, menu over here. You can uh, set specific parameters of the program that pertain to uh, your specific style of ordering. Um, you would then use your account here to log in. Uh, this is inactive on mine, but once we push the site live, you should be able to uh, access your account uh, via this screen. And you have uh, just a quick button to get to specific parts of um, your order. You can show your cart. Uh, you can go to your order uploads if you're not if you have something waiting in your queue, or you can simply start ordering. Um, these correspond with these tabs you see at the very top right, so don't let that scare you. What I want to do is just go to our products, and what you will notice is. Um, your catalogs that you have available to you are in the top left part of the screen. And what you'll notice is that both the options and the sizes um, windows are actually built into the program itself. Previously you could um, hide or um, access these windows at your discretion. These are actually built in now. So what I'm going to do right now is just um, I'm going to just kind of show you some things through the ordering process. Um, you'll notice that there's some icons that are missing here. Um, let's let's just start by selecting an 11 by 14. What you'll initially notice is that there are no longer options to adjust this, which might be slightly concerning. Um, the only thing we can obviously do here is rotate the entire layout or adjust the quantity. Um, if you click this icon here, you can see some options that previously used to be held onto the screen. You can hold your crop, you can hold your images options, um, various different things. Um, if you like where they are, you can, you know, have it hold whatever it is you're doing. But what I'm going to do is actually click the image, and what you'll see is a icon uh, pop up that will let you adjust your cropping. It'll let you adjust your sizing. You can do the fit sizing there. Uh, you can hold um, your image lock here. Um, or you can do your image rotation, and this icon here actually drops down a more specific image rotation. Once I unlock that there, you will, you'll see me be able to adjust my rotation. Um, this allows you to do it in 90, deg uh, 90 degree intervals. What I'm going to do now is just return to my dog here. Um, I am going to add this to my order. Now I am ready to view my cart. Um, this is fairly intuitive. Um, I, I, this basically looks the same as the previous rows. Uh, one thing you really need to pay attention to is your shipping method. That's one of the major things that have changed in the new rows client. Um, you can go in and select your shipping method um, accordingly. I just want to use UPS Ground. I'm going to click Next. And now, one of the really cool things about um, about the new Rose client is that you have several different payment options. Um, this might look a little different well, once we actually launch our client to all of our customers, but you can pay by uh, you know e-pay uh, immediate payment. You can do a cash on delivery for a lab pickup. Um, you can pay by credit card. Um, But this looks familiar according to the previous uh, Rose client. Um, you can send your order now using the internet if you have a connection and you're ready to upload it to our FTP servers. You can set it to send later um, at, and you can actually schedule that accordingly. And this is uh, the final tab on the top right hand part of the screen. Uh, this is uh, what it will look like once you have a, an upload ready to go. So I want to uh, just kind of take a look at my order. Let's say I want to send it now. Well, obviously my sending errored because I'm not connected to our FTP servers. But um, I can cancel. And now uh, I can actually reopen the order as a new order or I can actually remove it. Um, those are fairly intuitive once you actually start using them. Notice I actually had to click the send button before it would give me these options. Um, you can schedule a time to send your order to us.
what I want to do really quick is actually go back to this order. Um, I want to save this for later. I want to name this cart. So let's call this Rose Tutorial. And it is now saved. This is basically everything there is to know about the new Rose client. Um, there's not a whole lot that's different. There's just simply some things that kind of look um, and are placed a little bit differently than the previous Rose client. But I'm confident that uh, once we get used to using this new Rose client, I think it's going to be a very good thing. It's going to be very streamlined. Um, and I'm looking forward to uh, working with this client in the future. Thank you for your time and happy ordering.